Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. In this video, we're tying the Griffiths Gnat, which does a great job of imitating a cluster of adult midges. A very effective pattern anywhere you find fish feeding on midges. We've got a dry fly hook here in the vise, Tiemco 100. You can also use a Daiichi 1100. I tie this fly in sizes. 16 to 22, but you can tie them as big as 14s. We are going to take our thread. We're using 70 denier thread back to the back of the hook. The back of the hook. Your thread should be about even with the barb hanging down. We're going to tie in some ultra wire, extra small silver. Tie that forward, bringing your thread forward about two-thirds of the way to the eye of the hook. There you can tie in two pieces of... The thread's a little spun up there, there we go. Peacock curl. Wrap back. Tying down that peacock curl and then bring your thread back up to that tie-in point. Wrap your hurl forward to your thread. It's important to leave a nice little gap there between the tie-off point of your hurl and the eye of your hook. It prevents you from crowding your eye. We'll trim off our excess hurl. At that point we can tie in our hackle. I'm going to use Grizzly Hackle. Go ahead and tie that in. I like to throw in a little half hitch there after tying that in. That prevents that hackle from unwinding if you bump your hook. Now what we're going to do is palmer our hackle back to our wire. First thing you want to do is make a good turn, turn in a half of hackle and then just spiral that hackle back to your wire and when you get there take that wire bring it underneath your hackle tie off your hackle with it and then kind of advance your your wire forward just spiraling it forward through those hackle wraps and when you get to your thread, tie off that wire. And then you can remove the wire at this point. I just like to hold some thread tension on my bobbin. Wiggle the wire until it breaks free. Give yourself a little whip finish. Trim off the thread, and then trim off your hackle. At that point you got a Griffiths gnat. If you want to make the fly a little more durable, you can put some head cement. Or, in this case, I'll just use a little brush on super glue up at the front. And there you go. The Griffiths Gnat. Thanks for watching.